Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, we're going to react to when school criminals realise they've been caught. I've, I mean, you, you don't really put those two things together, do you? School criminals. Like most people that, you know, are in a school are either students or teachers, you know, people that, you know, I wouldn't expect are criminals. But then again, you know, the vast majority of criminals in prison probably went to school at some point. Schools are supposed to be a safe place for children to learn. But what happens when this isn't the case and cops are called to the school? These three teens put an elementary school in lockdown. On March 15th, 2023, several officers responded to an elementary school where threats were being made to students. A vehicle known to police for previous crimes drove past the school and shouted profanity while threatening to harm them. Students immediately reported the incident and the school was placed into lockdown. Surveillance captured the vehicle and multiple officers pulled over the criminal's vehicle. As the cops approached the vehicle, the suspects reached towards the glove box. Uh -oh. Can you roll your window down, please? Thank you. How are you doing? Good to see your driver's license, please. For what? Complaint over at the school of threats being yelled out at the school kids. I mean, what kind of loser? Like, you know, I really don't like using that word, but to just threaten school kids. Like, what, why? Like, for me, that's massive loser behavior. Good to see all your driver's license and IDs because it's a complaint from all of you. I don't have one. You don't have one? No. Do you have your ID on you? Front passenger, I'm talking to you. Do you have your ID on you? What's your first name? One second, let me finish chewing first. Let me finish chewing first. Attitude. And a birthday, Brady. Don't reach in your pockets, please. What's your address, Brady? I know. You don't know your address? No. Let's step out of the car for you. For what? So I'm asking you to step out of the car. Can I Man, ask what, what is with the attitude on these guys? Like, they seem about 19-ish. Like, cause, so they're not going through that, you know, puberty phase. Like, what is the problem here? The threats were made. Threats to the kids. That is not true at okay. all. Okay, well, that's the complaint we've received. We're literally getting back from Matt. You may be surprised since these teens seem to be completely unbothered and quickly brush off the situation. But it doesn't end here. What's your name, sir? Alex. Alex, I'm Ryan. Um, were you guys over by um, was it Blessed, Blessed Sacrament. Sacrament a little bit ago? Uh, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Do you know what it is? Brady, just stay in the vehicle. He's lying. I reckon he's lying. This way. Stop Dude, right there. Brady, Anything chill else going to stick me? So you would have went by Blessed Sacrament there. I don't know if you knew that or not. Uh, like, I'm not saying that you had any that reactions. Is. I'm just saying that. That's I that's where. That okay. That My strong suggestion is probably just change the attitude because it's no, not. No, this is bullshit. No, it's not. Yes, it is. The teens try to play dumb, but the cops weren't born yesterday. Yeah. I met you before. Oh yeah. I'm Sergeant Rossman. You recognize me? I don't think so. How do I know you? I don't know if I know you either. I was just asking. Oh. If I did. Yeah, okay. I don't think so. Such a random question. <laughs> do you do you know me from anywhere? <laughs> okay. Individually questioned, each with their own stories and personality. You tell me what happened today over at the school. Nothing. We came back from Madison. We're going there for a court day because our friend's going to prison. Okay. And we're driving back and we're here to go pick up a friend from school. We haven't picked him up yet. We're about to. He goes to TC. Are there any ski masks in the vehicle that you know of? There's possibly one in my backpack, but I haven't okay. had it on. I don't want to search your bag. I just want you to show it to me. I'll, ha I'll, I'll have him bring the bag here if that's right. We're coming this way. Okay. So what caused you to go all the way down and around and, and make a loop? Ma'am, I don't think you understand. We did not yell at any kids. You're not answering my question. If you're coming to... Yes, she's supposed to just take your word for it. The guy who's been giving her attitude all this time. Some people really don't have any common sense. If he was polite and, you know, answered her questions politely, she would give him probably a bit of benefit of the doubt. But you've been giving her all this sass. So why should she give a damn what you have to say, really? Got it's him. Relevant. Am I going back to jail? I don't think so. It is relevant. We okay. did not make any threats to any children. Why okay. would we yell at a bunch of kids saying we're going to kill them? That's a good question. <laughs> You look like my dentist, that's why I recognize you, I swear. Definitely not a dentist. So, tell me what happened, man. It was, we drove by and there was a bunch of kids playing football in the road. Yeah. And one kid threw the ball to him and he dropped it. And we said he's bad at football, that's all that happened. 
The kid said he's bad at football? No, we said he was bad You at said football. the kid was we bad at football. We did not threaten no one or anything. Mm. Okay. That's literally all we said. You're bad at football. At this point, only really? Brady has admitted to being near the school, but claims no threats were made. Did your passengers yell out the window anything? No. They yelled nothing. So you're lying, clearly. I love, it's such a clever tactic. Separate them and question them separately because the stories are never going to line up properly. No. What? Did you drive down Losey? Did you drive down 24th? I don't know. We've been driving all day. We've Did been you drive down? Hours. Well, you would probably, know. We probably have, yes. We Did you go about down 24th Street or Losey Boulevard? Yes. yes. But, but you know what I'm saying? If something was yelled, let's just get to that so we don't have to spend here for an hour while an investigation is conducted over there. Just just let's let's have out with it right now. I didn't yell anything. Did anybody in the car yell anything? Not going anywhere. We're not getting any cooperation either. So they did admit to um, one of them admitted that they did drive by there though. So the cops are still unsure whether this is a serious uh, case or a false alarm. But we have as much as you want, but we have a job to do. We received that, a complaint and they had to take all these kids into the school because of the threats that were and made. I'm not even mad at you guys. I'm just mad at whoever called the f police saying that we're trying to school of kids. School officials. Well, whoever's saying we're making threats saying we're trying to kill them is. That is outrageous, dude. It turns out Hunter, the half-suited teen, is currently out on four bonds. So Whoa. this could send him straight to prison if found Whoa. out to be true. Are you so dressed up today? Especially I'm always it always looks good, man. No, nah, there's no doubt. You remember me when I stopped you and Jade? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Drop into hey, man, you suck at football. And then what happened? We drove away. And these, he said these were the three that were in the car that went out. What do you guys think? Do you reckon they said what the school officials said they said? I reckon they did. I, I, I think they did. Okay. All right, you're comfortable. It's 95. All the teens are placed under arrest after it's confirmed these are the suspects. Under arrest for disorderly conduct. Good enough where she's comfortable arresting you. Hold on. Hope they feel good about themselves. Harassing me to it. So, no way I can't just get like ticket or something. Maybe, yeah. Because I'm on bond yeah. right now, and if okay. I go back, I'm f I had court like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Maybe threatening school kids isn't the best way to stay right. out of trouble. That's it. Several bullets and masks were found inside Alex's backpack. However, there were no signs of firearms. This, this is illegal, bro. I didn't do anything. I didn't yell at okay. any kids. Dude, chill out. Calm down. Down. Yeah, you try to just do whatever you can and not like, yeah. get me in jail, I guess. I get you. According to the kids, these are threats that were made. Was, uh, they yelled out and they said all three of them were yelling, suck my f you, I'm going to kill you. They circled around the school again, I'm going to kill you, f you. Oh. Getting on a canine for the vehicle because of kind of what happened. Oh, are they going to find All anything? All that was found was Hunter's false ID and a half a bottle of tequila under the seat. So there's enough there because the bullets and the threats to kill, we're locking them. Okay. Probably, based on history and the violent history that yeah, we've had. Yeah, the violent history that we've had, the ongoing mm. complaints, the just the, the ongoing... Damn, Hunter. Hunter. It turns Hunter's out the threats trouble. were much worse than the teens made it out to be, so they're taken to jail. Is this going to be like the Walmart mug shots? I don't know anything about the Walmart thing. Well, they just make you stand up against the wall and smile at the camera. Despite the lighthearted arrest, the teens face some serious charges. Hunter was charged with felony, making terrorist threats, misdemeanor disorderly conduct, and two counts of bail jumping. Jeez, making... I don't even want to say the word because that could flag up. Dang. Well as a $780 citation for underage drinking. Alex was charged with felony, making terrorist threats, while Brady was charged with misdemeanor disorderly conduct. A few months later, they were all arrested on felony charges, including identity theft and retail theft. Felony. This nine-year-old was placed in cuffs for causing havoc Nine. in a classroom. On February 2nd, 2023, police were called by an elementary school as a fourth grader was completely out of control. On the first responder's body cam, the child is seen throwing anything he can get his hands on directly at the cops. That is an angry kid. Oh, you want to throw stuff though, right? She then tries to de-escalate the situation. What is this However, she's met with fists and profanity. Fuck you, That's okay. I get that a lot. It doesn't hurt my feelings. 
staff members hold up a blue punching bag as the student continues to lash out. What Allegedly out of concern for others in the room, a second officer arrives and handcuffs the child, which he later received backlash for. So you come down. So the cop received backlash. I mean, what was the cop supposed to do? Like, how else can you restrain him? What, is, it, is the cop supposed to sit there with his arms wrapped around the kid? Like, I'm trying to think, like, what was the right thing for the cop to do? Just let the kid keep throwing stuff? So we're at, I think we can do that. He can do that because he's on the road. Just calm you down for a second. Chill. Chill. However, the handcuffs didn't slow him down at all. It only made matters worse. Dude, yeah, what is his problem? Stop it. Sit up. Yeah. Chill. Chill. Just relax. Yeah. I'm concerned about the home situation, man, because kids like this don't end up like this for no reason. Like, he's been learning this at home. Oh. The handcuffs were loosely placed on the boy for comfort. However, he tries to slip out. Ow! You're throwing things. You're putting everyone Shut in the up! You need to hear Jesus. it. Jesus. Ew! It's okay, I get that a lot. Ooh, we're trying to figure out why you're so upset. Ow! Stop pulling. Stop! Stop pulling. Whilst trying to talk the child out of his tantrum, the cop receives numerous insults. We can talk to you and you can Shut talk up! That's why you're not going anywhere. You know, no I can't believe this is a nine-year-old. You'd be in trouble for hitting a police officer. Shut up! Just letting you know, the older you get, it's going to be very harder for you to be big in these behaviors. <sighs> you're doing really good with Officer Tennant. She gives you stickers. She sees, she asks Honestly, if I was the teacher, like I used to teach, I, I would just, I would say nothing. Like, just silence, and the kid will just eventually come down but the more she talks the more he's going to respond you have your days and then this is how you treat us yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. what's going to work to keep you safe and teach you yeah. that's fine next the teacher is seen calmly talking to the student okay i've done it since freak it that's not nice why do you do those things because the teacher holds but why? Such a potty mouth. So he is released from the handcuffs and sent to the counselor's office. Thanks, bud. The parents of the child later filed a lawsuit against the city and police department of the two officers, what? claiming the situation caused extreme harm to the child and family. The Are lawsuit you kidding? was dismissed by Absolutely. the Absolutely. Okay, I know I'm brown and you guys like fing shooting us. God. His parents, so that's what they took from it? They tried to make money from that situation rather than, you know, be ashamed of th their kid's bad behavior. Says it all, really. Damn it! Relax. I want to fucking get my son Relax. and go home. Relax. That's what I want to do. This is Rosa, a 41-year-old parent who pulled a gun and threatened another parent just uh -oh. outside of a school. On April 18th, 2023, officers confronted Rosa after a parent told school staff that Rosa pulled out what looked like a gun and allegedly said he was going to kill him. Whoa. Of course, this is an extremely dangerous situation as many children are nearby. Oh put the car in park for me. Listen to me, please. That's fine. I put it in park. Okay, that's I'm fine. I'm no threat. That's You're fine. You're taking the word of what, someone I'm not you taking, don't know. I'm not taking anyone's word. Okay, what I'm telling you is we have we have a complaint that a firearm which was presented, okay, at a school. You understand that? Uh, did I present it? At no, school, I just pulled in. Look, oh, so don't you guys have cameras? All I need you to do is step out of the car. Sir. And this guy can run me just, off the road and just, drive away. Where's no, he at? No, we'll Where that. is he at? We'll Where is he at? He we'll drove away already, that. motherfucker. You're not listening we'll to me. That. You gotta You're not going to address it because he's gone. The man is immediately belligerent and aggressive, making the alleged threat seem more believable. I don't even know. You don't work here. I'm here every day. But it gets much worse. You're going to make me look like a criminal in front of all these parents. I'm not trying to make you look like anything. Yes, you are. Chill. I am elevating. Why would I not elevate? doesn't have to be a scene. If someone ran you off the road, would there be a scene? Just take a breath. There does not have to be a scene here. Because I need to remove you from the fire. I'm pushing the button. Okay, I know I'm brown and you got This cop is... What? The officer is... He looks brown to me too. This guy is... It's like fucking shooting us. God damn it. I want to fucking get my son and go home. That's what I want to do. 
Chill. Rosa tries to dominate the confrontation and become increasingly furious whilst the cops this try guy. to keep the situation safe. This doesn't need to elevate. We can, we can bring it down a couple Can we go get that motherfucker who ran me off the road? Or are you going to do that? We can bring it down Did you call minutes. anybody for that? Answer my goddamn question. Listen, sir. This guy is question. unbelievable. What are you going to do? For I what? Do Am I threatening you? I need you my hands are down. behind my back. Why is he so emotional? He can commit a crime. No, he can't. He just ran the fucking red light and ran me up the road. You haven't done shit. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out, man. Oh, my fucking God. You're not going to figure out shit. You guys will never figure out shit. You fuck with me and criminals can drive away. Okay. <laughs> Listen, what's your name, man? My name's Vinny. Vinny I have a license here. Can I reach for it? Or are you going to shoot me? Oh, my God. Quit threatening me while I'm picking up my son at school. It's a vape. Listen. This cop, I have to say, has done a perfect job he's been so calm other police officers from videos i've seen this guy would have been on the ground by now eating dirt listen <laughs> calm down i'm we, sick of getting fucked with by you guys yeah. runs okay. red light from my is that against the fine that, no it's not it's not against them it's not it's not okay it is against the law but listen to me well, listen to what i'm saying okay i didn't say i, I want to see my accusers okay. right now that's that's okay. the law i took criminology okay i can see my accusers who are they we will get Get to the I, want the, I want that information Wait, sent you, to you. You gotta, you gotta calm down. I am right. calm. I'm fucking calm as fuck. This you is how I talk. Are. Things get even more serious when the school announces code red on the speakers, generally indicating a lockdown. Pointed out this vehicle with this gentleman on 1025 speak to them now. Um, if I can get some units to speak to the complaining parties, which are multiple staff members of the school. Fucking code red. Get the f*** real, man. This you guys is an are angry man. Until some real shit happens. You stay outside while kids are no He keeps saying he's not the one at fault. However, he threatened to end someone's life with a deadly weapon, which is a serious offense. Okay, there's multiple people, okay? Okay, I want to see these multiple people who can see me driving. Get the f*** out of here. You guys are liars. Multiple people. I am not a liar, and I want to hear these liars lie to my face. That's what I want. In America, we're allowed to have them. That's right, you are. Allowed yeah, to have we're allowed to have them. Not allowed to run you off the road. Not allowed to run red lights. But he's fucking gone. I wish we saw what happened before, because maybe what happened to him, you know, was really bad. But still, I just think his manner of speaking to the officer is just not the most efficient. Like, I just don't think being this irate is going to get you what you want in most situations. How the f do you sleep at night? I, you know, my son's right there. I want to go home, bro. I didn't commit a f***ing crime. That guy did. Where's he at? The crime guy gets to go away. You guys are a f***ing joke. He wanted to start a fight that he wasn't man enough for. I want to see that sucker right here. Bear in mind, the school is still in code red, similar to what he's seeing right now. Right now, you're not free to go. You have 30 minutes. I went to college, not jail. No, they all ran inside and locked down to a red, so I'm just standing out here with a guy. But, uh, yeah, the, the weapon is secure. Um, My son's probably in there scared. Am I accuser here, or did you let him go? You're not under arrest. I'm securing you're you right not putting now. that on I'm me. putting it on you, and if you resist, If you I'm not arrested. under arrest, you're not putting that I'm on me. I'm securing you oh for safety. Oh, boy. Okay, what go. safety? Okay, After he's go. placed in cuffs and the gun is secured, he's taken to the jail and his kids are taken care of. After his threat was confirmed to be true, he faced charges of brandishing a firearm near school grounds oh, and aggravated Rosa. assault with a bond set at $5,000. On January 4th, 2024, officers responded to the scene of a school- I feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't go to jail if they could control their anger. Genuinely, I think so many people have anger management problems. ...where a student violently attacked an elderly teacher. The unfolding events take place after the teacher caught the student smoking a part. After getting caught, the 16-year-old boy violently punched the woman in the head multiple times, which led to serious injuries. Here's what happened when the cops arrived. Oh my god. The panicked student is taken into the office where he's questioned. Go. 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 Due to his erratic behavior, staff believe there may have been something other than marijuana in his cartridge, so he's treated like a victim. Do you take anything? Smoke anything? Drink anything? 
said he a took car. a car. That's a car. I took a car. I ain't took, I didn't, I ain't took no weed. Yeah, he did. Uh, so, did he somebody he give you something in the bathroom? Was he hurt? Yeah, well, yes, I think he might have hit his head. He was banging it. He was banging his head, I think, against the glass. I think he ran over here and just started beating his head against this one. Oh my god. He's weak winging. Yeah, we're in the gonna have like a psychotic breakdown or something. He said he just needs somebody to hug. It's hard to tell whether he's freaking out due to the realization of what he's done or because of what he smoked. Yeah, I'm starting. Okay. Alright. I'm a little You starting to freak out a little bit? I still I, I still feel a little bit. Going away a little bit. A little bit? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Calm it down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, got you. Hey, look, they're both getting in a dream. No, you're not dreaming, but we're, we got you, all right? Yeah, Let's take care of you. Dream, bro. Dream. Dream. I think I'm in a dream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is going on? Check it out. I know you ain't crazy. So, right. two squads are coming. Okay. One's going for the teacher. Okay. One's coming over here. I was running fast and I was glitching. And like you're I, glitching? Yeah. Do you have anything in your, in your pockets? Yeah. Any glitches in your pockets? Nope. Nothing. The boy's mother arrives at the school, who is very concerned. Okay, whatever it is in you, they can make flush it out. Right behind you, okay? Hey, bud. Are you in the back? Go down to the hospital now with yeah. us. Okay, we'll let them know that if you just go to the front ER driveway. So what, what, what's He was going taken on to here? the hospital, but it wasn't just him. The teacher was also taken to the hospital where her skull cap had to be removed in order to prevent brain damage oh due to smoke. Oh my god, what? Since this is a recent event, the situation on the case is currently unknown. So many questions here. Man, like for me, the main takeaway, you know, is like, just control yourself. You don't look cool if you, if you get really angry at people. Like that doesn't make you look like a badass. You just look like an idiot most of the time. You know, the guy Rosa and the first guy Hunter, the, the one that was driving the car full of those teenagers, you know, if they could just shut up for a minute and, you know, just cooperate, answer questions when asked, you know, don't be belligerent, don't be confrontational you're going to probably get away with a lot. Like I've learned through life. Like if you are, if you can come across as a nice person, if you could just be friendly, you can get away with way so much more than if you are really like abrasive and confrontational. I just, I guess they were never taught that at a young age. Um, Cause yeah, the second guy, Rosa, like he probably had a point. Like if somebody ran him off the road, that's obviously they should be in trouble too. But because he was coming across as so heated, you know, being so like, uh, you know, just like, and the cop was just doing his best to calm him down. That cop really, that was an example of how to try and de-escalate a situation. And that first guy, Hunter, like, you know, it says it all. He's already been in jail a few times. Like, dude, take an anger management class. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.